Hello and welcome back to another video in beautiful Krakow. And today we're going to show you how expensive it is to spend a day here in Krakow. It's famous for being super cheap, one of the cheapest cities in Europe. Is it really that cheap? We're going to show you. We've been here for five days, so we're not only just going to show you what we spend in this day, we're going to give you some options depending on your budget of where you can go more expensive or cheaper if we have that option. But you're going to be really shocked by some of these prices. breakfast at this Cakester Cafe which is extremely hipster right up my street. Did gluten free it's waffles. very bougie wasn't it? Yeah it was like bougie kind of like upmarket health food kind of vibe. I really like that kind of stuff. Got two coffees and I got waffles, eggs and bacon and they cost 66 schlotty. So it's not the cheapest of places, that's about 11 pounds. But yesterday we got a traditional Polish breakfast and a full English for gas and two coffees, and it was 93 schlotty. So that one was probably the same amount as that one. But if you're going for more of a budget style breakfast, you can go to one of the pastry shops. Gaz got one of the traditional donuts yesterday, it only cost six schlotty. So there is a way of doing it cheaper. We've obviously gone for a bougie option this morning, but it was really good. So if you want to spend some money, I'd go there. just bought tickets for a boat trip which is the last thing we haven't done in Krakow. We've paid 60 schlotty which is about 10 pounds for a 30 minute tour across the river. I'll tell you more about some other tours that we've been on and how much they cost afterwards. <laughs> got the whole boat pretty much to ourselves. It seems like a bloody bargain. And we're on the top roof, the sun's shining, going past Krakow Castle, which is great. I think it's a really good 60 schlossy well spent, I'd say. So this is one of the cheaper activities that we've done, but if you want to go even more budget, then you can get an electric scooter and scoot around the town and it's pretty much free and then go to the museums on a Monday which is free entry but also remember they shut at two o'clock or of course you could just walk around if you want to go full on budget and then a few other tours that we have done which were slightly more expensive is we did a Segway tour around the old town which was amazing that was 236 schlotty so 115 each and we also did a tour of Auschwitz which was 50 pounds so 268 schlotty for us both or 130 each per person so loads of tours that you can do for different budgets but we've really enjoyed checking out this city and there is something for everyone if you want to go and do it cheap or expensive so we've just had a midday tipple as <laughs> as Abby keeps telling me to call it a midday tipple we've had a drink at our favorite bar in Krakow called Banya Luca. Now it was 13 schlossi was it? For a beer and a wine so obviously that's really really good value. What we're going to do now is compare it against the main square where obviously stuff's a little bit more expensive so we're going to have a drink there and see how much that comes to. Actually scrap that I'm hungry so we're going to go and check out either some street food, chips or kebab or a pastry whatever I feel like and then we're going to go to a new bar. Kinder Bueno pastry for six schlotties right. 50, which is just about one pound. And I'm absolutely buzzing for it. I've had loads of them already, so. Perfect cheap lunch if you're on a budget diet. It is, it is. It's proper cheap, man, but nice. There's also loads of other street food places in the Jewish Quarter. We've been to loads of them as well, which is obviously a cheaper option for lunch. I got like a stuffed jacket potato the other day, which was really nice. But Gaz got a hot dog, mm. which is, I think it's famous here. But we didn't realize at the time, yeah. but. Usually you can expect to pay like two to three dollars for like a street main, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so it was proper cheap, but I'll put the price on the screen now because I don't know off the top of my head. If you're on the kind of same budget as us, get street food for like breakfast and lunch, and then go out for a nice meal in the evening. Which is what we've been really, doing. Really, really affordable, yeah. Yeah. 
All right, now we're gonna head to the main, well, we're in the old town square, which is obviously the most touristy and popular place. I'm gonna grab a drink from there and then see how it compares to the cheap booze that we've been getting throughout this whole trip. round of drinks was 35 schlotti. The wine was 16.99, which is about triple what it was in the last place, but obviously the quantity is a lot more. Gaz, your beer was about 18. 18 yeah. We'll double check when we get the bill. But they also brought us out some little olives, and obviously you're paying for the view, the nice restaurant here, you know, being out amongst the tourism and stuff. Mix it up on your holiday, but even so, it's cheaper than England by quite a, quite a long shot, isn't it? Yeah. So that was 61.99 schlotti and then we got some french fries, obviously a beer and wine. They charge you extra for ketchup and mayo and service on top which is about £11. So same price as if you got around in Manchester but the full experience is lovely and very good service. Without so. the chips? Without the chips, yeah. Yeah, so it's still way cheaper isn't it? Yeah, it's it? worth it for the vibe. Yeah, we enjoyed it a lot. It's nice to just pop here for one but we're going to head back to our cheaper one now. So that was 25 schlotti, and we got two shots, a beer and a wine. So you can see the difference. We've literally walked about three minutes from the square. This is my favourite bar, and the last place is Abby's favourite bar. So we have to compromise and walk between one to the other. <laughs> That's enough on the food and drink for now. Let's get into the accommodation. We booked our accommodation through Airbnb, and it was literally a 10 second walk from the Old Town Square. For a studio apartment with a kitchen, TV, double bed and bathroom, it costs only £200 for four nights. That's £50 between the two of us each night. An absolute bargain. Moving on to dinner reservations and how much things cost for tea. We're going to head to our favourite, well actually we've had really good food Your favourite? One of our favourite restaurants for tea, but it's going to be around half four when we go but there's loads of places that you can go for dinner from different price ranges so one night we got kebab and fries yep each and that cost us after check my phone was six pound fifty and that was on the way back from a drunken night we didn't have any tea that night so obviously that's very very budget friendly then on the other night we went full class absolute five star swanky panky which is really not in our style but we were like do you know what it's cheap here so we'll go for it we went for a steak restaurant called Mimi Steakhouse which is really nice steak and it was but it was also very pricey no we had two starters two drinks each yeah and then we had two of the most expensive steaks on the menu and you got as the well. larger one we got large steaks and it was 90 quid yeah so that was a hundred dollars 485 schlotti which is 90 pounds so that was top high end and then the other night which is where we're off to tonight or today as you'd say is a pasta pizza bar which inside is also looks really really swanky but the price is extremely reasonable <laughs> So we just finished up at Pasta Bar. Lovely, it was very, very nice. Second time we've been there, it is very, honestly, the pasta's amazing. So it was a 142. We got a couple of drinks, a side, and two main courses, which is great. Absolute bargain, so we'd highly recommend there. That's probably middle of the road. Obviously we've done high end, we've done cheap as well, but there's obviously, there's a budget for everyone. But anyway, we're gonna head to the airport now. We've had such a good holiday. We hope that this informative video about the prices in Krakow has made you wanna come, because if you've got a small or a large budget, you can do it all, so make sure you come here. Make sure you come here, it's bloody fantastic. <laughs> Make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. We'll Thank see you, you in the next one. Bye.